Underway in heat number five in the men's 500. Getting out into the lead, it's Zhang Ditian. Kim coming up the inside of Klimenko. Zhang doing his utmost to stay out in the lead. Kim coming up, we've got a faller as well. Looks like it's the British athlete down again. Zhang from Kim from Klimenko. Kim gets the bell. Top two going through, subject to confirmation of no infringements. Kim leading the way over the line from Zhang. Look clean. Klemenko will have to wait to see whether his time is fast enough for one of the 10 fastest losers positions. Well, clean start from them. And too wide from uh, the Kazakh athlete, allowing the Korean through, and then he goes and takes the lead from Zhang Kim Taesun, the 1500 meter champion here yesterday, has progressed smoothly through. Had a fall earlier on, so maybe we'll have a little bit of work on that right leg. And uh, there is confirmation that, that Kim and Zhang officially have gone through to the next round. Tomenko will have to hold off and see whether his time is quick enough. The second round heats for the men's 500. There's Kim from Korea, Shemi Kana from Kazakhstan, Saito from Japan, Akar from Turkey, and Makare from the Philippines in the lineup. Go to the start. So clean start, and uh, right at the front straight away is Kim Tae-sun uh, from Shami Karnoff. Just behind them, Saito, holding that line. Makare sitting in fourth. Watch out for Aka Furkin sitting at the back at the moment. He's got a late sprint as he left it too late here. Kim from Shami Karnoff and Saito come round. Final bend for the belt, and wow, Makare's hit the deck. He hit that pretty hard there, but Kim Shamikinov and Saito looking strong. Akar has not got the legs in this heat, and it is Kim Shamikinov and Saito. That look like they will progress. Makare hitting the deck hard. Fuka not uh, Fuka Fuka and Ankar can't, couldn't quite make it. Didn't have the legs. Filipino in fourth place, just uh, unforced error, sliding out of his own accord. So, confirmation. But uh, in fact, Akar has done enough in a fast heat to make it through as one of the fastest losers. Kim from Korea, Shami Karnoff from Kazakhstan, and Saito going through as the top three. His day is over. So, second quarter final, Kim Tae Sung on the inside lane for Korea, Quentin for Kokin, two. Yeah, Kebulan Shamikanov of Kazakhstan in three, Robert Krizbergs of Latvia in four, Radak Fikus of the Czech Republic in five. Go to the start. Ready. They got underway, and there's a little bit of argy bargy there, but uh, it is Kim up the front from Shemi Karnoff and Fakok of France in third at the moment. Chris Berg's 
just tucked up behind the Frenchman, but uh, Kim and Shamikanov leading the way at the moment. It's tight. Shamikanov coming down the inside to take the lead. Shamikanov pulling away, and look at Lecoq. He has taken Kim as well. And they get the bell. Shamikanov from Fakok. Kazakhstan leading France. They go into the final bend. Can Kim do anything here? It doesn't look like it. Awfully close in the end, but Shamikanov and Fakok over the line in first and second. Great move from Shamikanov to take the lead as well. And Kim getting off to a good start on the inside, but Shamikanov into second straight away and then comes up the inside as a, there's a mistake from Kim. And I think Fakok benefited from that mistake. There was a little bit of a loss of concentration there and Fakok able to nick in and take second place. Let's see how close it was on the line. Confirmation that Shamikanov going through in top place. Kazakh beating Francis Fakok for qualification. Kim Tae-sun is in the wings for the times. Semi-final number two of the men's 500. Brandon Kim from the USA. Yeah, Kabalan. Shamikanov from Kazakhstan. Kenten Fakok from France. Kim Tae-sun from the Republic of Korea. And Furkan Aka from Turkey. Ready. Well, there was a move there from Aka. Shami Karnoff also came off the line. And I think it may well be Aka that uh, gets called Position here. Five, false start. Yeah. This race has one false start. So the Turkish athlete the on the start. outside lane there, just moving it a little early. Semi-final number two of the men's 500 metres here at the short track speed skating sees Kim from the USA leading Shamikanov. Already up into third, it's Kim Tae-shun. And uh, there's been a four here and the, the cock has gone up into second place. Aka up into third and Brandon Kim has launched himself out of the start here and stayed way out of trouble. Aka nearly getting caught up on the feet of the cock. And they get the bell, and Brandon Kim from the USA shows everyone how it's done. Oh, Fakok slipping up the middle there. Oh, far from clean. And in the end, Shami Karnoff coming up into third place. But wow, well, what a battle that was. Very messy up front, but uh, Brandon Kim got off to the early start around the first bend and then stayed out of trouble by staying at the front. Great start from Kim Tae-sun. But he had to slow up round the bend and then could not keep his balance. I have to say that's an unforced error. But look at this. Akar nearly tumbling into the back of Fakok, but did the decent thing and backed off. Brandon Kim over the line from Quentin Fakok. And those two, subject to the referee's decision, will make it through to a better view here the overhead just dragged that left skate kim shami Karnoff had to evade him and look the frenchman and the turkish athlete slide through was there a little lean there as well from kim just to make matters worse well, how did shami Karnoff stay up left skate of the korean was the result of that. So it is a penalty for the Kazakh athlete changing from the outside lane to the inside lane. So it happened a lot earlier than we were seeing before. And so it's the Kazakh athlete that's penalized and that potentially means that Kim Tae-sun gets promoted through. Kim Tae Sun in lane number five. And you have 37 
And from the Republic of Korea and Kung Hee University, it's Kim Tai So. So there's the lineup. Go to the start. Look at the start from 137 on the outside. Brown and Kim as well in the USA in three, and Japan's Miata in lane right. one. Well, it's a great start from all five of them, but uh, Miata on the inside line. There was nothing really that uh, Kim Tae-sung could do. And uh, Kim Tae-sung is at the back, uh, but it's Lee who holds second place from Brandon Kim. But look at Miata go. Shogo Miata has blown the field apart here today. Uh, there's a big wobble there on the inside from Brandon Kim. And it looks like... Uh, we're going to go round for the bell at this time. Miata leading from Lee, and it's uh, Kim Tae-shun who takes third spot. The bell goes, but Miata is absolutely blowing the field apart. Kim overtakes Lee on the line. Absolutely brilliant finish here. There was a massive wobble from Brandon Kim, but Miata out the front was absolutely supreme. Lee just couldn't hold on, but the work that Kim Tae-shun had to put in to take second place here in the men's 500 metres final was absolutely phenomenal. Miata from Kim and Lee, provisionally, of course, we have to wait to see what the judges say. There was a little bit of a collision, a little bit of a stumble there. And did that affect anybody? Well, Miata, Sugar from Hanan University, competing at the Beijing 2022 Olympics in the 1,000 metres and the 1,500. But look at the start he gets here in the World University Games. A final of the men's 500 metres. Absolutely blew the field away. Now here's Brandon Kim trying to come up the inside of Fukuoka. He gives him a bit of a nudge there, and then he loses his balance, somehow stays on his feet. But that paved the way for Kim Tae-sun to come through and once he had a bit of clean air in front of him, he hunted down Lee Kong Chao for second place. You have to say, Kim Chia Song did nothing wrong there apart from take advantage of an Representing Republic of Korea, Tae Sung Kim.